Hello, and welcome back to Dead Space, the original Dead Space. I actually don't remember at all what I'm supposed to be doing. So, map, no, there's, there we go. Right, we just destroyed the thing. Oh, right. That really doesn't look like it was fun. We're back. We have slightly different frame rate, so I wound up setting the V-Sync in, uh, in the NVIDIA settings in the potentially vain hope that we get some, uh... What? That we get some better physics performance out of having 60 hertz instead of 250. And, uh... That's why I'm walking around, because... Yeah, okay. That... That seems credible. Controls have changed a little bit, so I don't know if I'm gonna try and mess with that. Oh, hey, does his face give off? It does! Very narrow. Very short range of light, that. But, it's a cool effect. Probably worth it. <coughs> Alright. I have some vague recollections about this. I think I got this far on my first playthrough. I remember this being less than fun. Well, yeah. This is Senior Medical Officer Nicole Brennan transmitting ship wide. We need more help. We don't have the resources to deal with this many cases. Nobody would tell us what's happening. These wounds. We are not equipped to deal with this. Get him to the table. Hold him. Nurse, you hold him down. Every quarter. That was Nicole, right? I can't tell from here when that log was made. I'm sure she's around here somewhere. Sorry, we are full. Is it safe? No. Fuck this ship. Well, things are going well. Save us, save us, save us. There's just crap dropping everywhere. Can we actually pick up anything with Kinesis? Oh, that's amazing. That was less than impressive. Hold on, I have to try this. I wonder if you can actually damage enemies with that. That'd be neat. Help me, help me. Ah, uh, this... Yeah, alright. Cool. Oh, I saw you. That startled me. Come on. What? What? Uh oh. I hear more. I don't like that. Bad baby. Why is there an oxygen recharge here? That doesn't seem like a thing I should need. Oh, hey. I still get kind of dizzy with the camera. I wonder if it was just designed for 30 hertz. Oh boy, crazy voices. I guess that's... what's the RP does these? I don't know what that is. That doesn't look human, whatever it is. I don't even know what it was, but I picked it up. Uh, I keep pressing the 
wrong button. I'm pressing B when I mean to press. This has to go somewhere. I saw it. There it is. Well, this looks like you're way too loud. So I've, uh, whoa, whoa, you're fast. different. Let's make sure you stay down, hmm? Is that worth it? And you're persistent. Turning through ammo at a pretty good pace. Yeah, whatever, I'll do it. Let's find out what's in here. I understand the trade off, maybe. What's in here has so much ammo. Ammo. And line racks? Oh, okay, for the line shooter thing. That other weapon that I might not ever get to have. Over. Yeah, okay. It's, I guess that was good. We weren't doing so great on ammo. I don't really know what happens in this game if you run out of ammo. I imagine it's less than happy. Well. I almost want a quick turn, but I kind of understand why I don't have one. Hello. That was a noise. That was also a noise. Hello? Can anybody hear me? My name is Eileen Fisk. I just woke up in here and everybody was gone. I don't know what's happening. Why do they all leave? I'm going to try and find someone. If you can hear this, please come for me. I can hear scratching in the wall. Hello? Who's there? Are you a doctor? Why is everyone... Wait, I know you. You're Harris, the prisoner from the colony. You killed that nurse. Help! Somebody help me! Please! Please! Oh, great. Okay, the prisoner from the colony. So yeah, they started bringing people from the colony on board. And that's when it all went to shit. No. 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 Alright, this will end badly. Take your time. Jeez. What? Oh. I can't pick up the plasma energy. Newborns! Yay? Alright. I wonder if those are actually, like, production babies. Or at least some of them. Alright, I am out of room for stasis packs. The fact that our oxygen recharts just make me uncomfortable. So, uh... Oh, is that a thing? That's a thing. Do I have anything I would rather not? Oh, okay, schematic. Hello? 
I actually can't. Oh, there we go. That's gross. Was this locked before? <laughs> Oh, hi! <laughs> um... What are you up to? I'm never here now. Alright. crazy obviously. I don't know what happened in here. Looks like something exploded. Don't know what that's about. Look at that shiny floor reflecting some impossible space. It's beautiful. It's very clean though. Appreciate that. Oh yeah, text log, come on. Science log from Dr. Kine T, Chief Science Officer. Attention, Captain Matthias B. Benjamin. Further to our previous, further to our previous conversation. That's a weird sentence. I ask that you delay bringing the marker up from the planet for a day or two. You know I'm as keen as anyone to study it in detail, and I understand your sense of urgency given the ten events in the colony. But that's why I ask. What's happening down there is just too unique, too unprecedented to cut it too short without proper time to study its causes and effects. In light of a discussion I had with Dr. Mercer, I'd like to meet with Dr. Cirello and Welland, planet side, to get their observations. Terrence. Right, they don't want to bring the marker on board because uh, people have been killing each other, and we should probably find out why, because maybe they're related some, in some crazy nondescript way. Is there a limit to how many files I have? There is. Okay. I'm just going to keep eating up new slots. Science log, Chief Science Officer Dr. Kine reporting. The colony's problems concern me greatly. I have no doubt they are somehow linked to the discovery of the marker, but the exact nature of that connection is still unknown. Almost 40% of the colonists are experiencing a form of dementia. The obvious symptoms are acute depression, insomnia, and hallucination. Incidents of violence and even murder also indicate extreme paranoia. Dr. Mercer has advised that I bring some of the affected on board to study. Dr. Weller, the planet site psychiatrist, has reported that his own analysis has been fruitless. I'm hesitant to rely on Dr. Mercer at this point, but I need his expertise. We need solutions, and we need them quickly. Sounds like they're having a good time with their project. Ah, uh, yes. Elevator. Elevator down. What's that best kind of elevator? Hopefully this audio is a little bit better on this one too. I'm still not using the uh, the plugin, which I did listen to the last video and quality seemed okay. Looks like I guess I was just getting distortion from the mic because I was using too much gain. Um, it turns out also that the volumes of the mic were down to like minus eight or something. Hi. Can I help you? They are watching. Are they? Why is it glowing red? Can I close this again? I feel like I would want to close this. But yeah, so oh. oh. What are you? New. Whoa! And fast. Oh, what? What? No! Now is not the time!
Holy crap! Captain's rig, that was him? Why was he dead in here? What is this place? This is the morgue. Why was, why was he in the morgue? Oh, right. We were... Yes. Codes received, and they look good. Thank God. I'll start accessing the captain's records right now. Head to the tram station, and I'll contact you there. I'm going to find out what the hell happened to this ship. What is this thing? Is it even made from human flesh? Dr. Damas G. Medical Examiner. Report of death on ship. Subject Captain Matthias B. It is my sad duty to officially pronounce Captain Benjamin Matthias dead. Reports of the exact circumstances surrounding his death are conflicted and beyond the scope of my role. I can only report on the body. The subject was in generally good health for his age, though a cursory breath test indicates his leukocyte count was very low, with eosinophilus in particular almost existent. I don't know what either of those things are. His pre-flight ex medical physical exam showed no such problems, indicating rapid onset. However, it is unlikely that this had any effect on his death. Multiple contusions on the arms and hands indicating a brief struggle pre-mortem. Slight, slight contusion around the ribcage, suggesting his chest was restrained in some way. Cause of death was a single prolonged trauma to the ocular body, which continued through on through the cavity wall and finally into the frontal lobe, causing rapid neurotrauma, seizure, and death. The force required to puncture the ocular cavity in this manner is great, and the possibility of self-infliction correspondingly low. I therefore have no alternative but to record a preliminary verdict of unlawful death, whether deliberate or accidental, is beyond my jurisdiction. So someone or something killed the captain through his eyeball. What was in here? Oh. What? Oh. Plasma energy. Will do. Always interested in plasma energy. Power node. Yes. Excellent. Um. I am watching you. Who wrote that? Split pack. I am definitely sacrificing something for that. What can I drop? Probably the line thing, really. Can I drop? Split pack indeed. Oh, I, oh well, I'm well. I'm also overdue for using a med pack. Right way? Guess so. What could go wrong? Where are we? The emergency room, presumably, but that seems too easy. Have I been here before? I'm not sure, it's quiet. Which suggests maybe. Yes, yes, okay. Oh, I went through that door. Yeah, okay, I remember this place now. Well, good news. They can't get through doors. Ah, that was scary. Oh boy. That's a disappointing. Alright. Um, door. Seem like you were slightly easier than your friend. I feel like I should want that. More than what though? 
Maybe I should be using more of my superpowers. That is baked. Is it safe? No. I like that one. Uh, I do want the medium pack. Is it worth giving away? Okay. I don't like that. Isaac! Somehow one of them found a way down to the captain's nest. I managed to contain it in a damaged escape pod. Yeah. Nothing executive locked down now. I found the deck logs. Whatever is happening around here, it came from the planet when they cracked it open. It spread to the colony and reached the ship. Isaac, this isn't an infection. It's some form of alien life. <laughs> Shit, we've got bigger problems. The ship's engines are offline and our orbit is decaying. Get over to the engineering deck ASAP while I stay here and figure out what the problem is. Well... <laughs> fix this thing while I sit here figure out what's going on. It's like, alright, off you go then. I'm just the engineer after all. How long has it been? I wish it would show me before transitioning. That would be great. 20 minutes. Alright. Still got time for... Another... Where are we going? Oh yeah, the tram. Of course. Trust nothing. Shadow, why do you... wait. All the bodies are gone. Oh shit. All of them. Even the ones in the bags. That cannot be good. That just can't be good. Yes, okay, cool. So now that's out of my inventory. Is there a level 3 suit, maybe? No. I don't know, found any credits. Anything I can sell? I guess I've got plasma energy to, to spare. Yeah, it won't get me anything. I don't think I'm interested in buying is the, the power nodes, I guess. Wide, but how is it? Uh, uh, how many? How many does it have? It doesn't say, right? Just restore six. I thought this was like an upgrade, which would be interesting, maybe. Pulse rounds, pulse rifle. ahead and actually explore. Oh, I thought I, I might explore the weapons, but I just realized that that just means that there will be more weapons to drop power nodes into, which could be worse than just a, uh, could be worse than just having the one weapon and the rig to sink them into. That should be doing pretty well. All right. Moving on to a new chapter. Save my progress. Yes, please. Even though we saved moments ago. I am sure I will come to find out exactly what those bodies are up about. This is the fastest tram ever. Alright. The engine dock. Oh hey, this looks familiar. You got two problems, and we're working on borrowed time here. First, there's no fuel in the engines. Second, cool. the gravity centrifuge is offline, which means there's a couple of trillion tons of rock pulling us down. I need you to get that centrifuge operational. Refuel the main engine and fire it up so I can stabilize the ship's orbit. Alright. So, we don't want to die. I, I'm trying to get a little bit more into the atmosphere. We're stuck here. We're falling towards the planet because the engines are dead. There's an alien infection. And, uh, well, I guess we'll find out. 
Let's do some exploring first. And then I think I will actually end the episode here, because that transition, the uh, chapter transition, seems like about as good a place as it gets. So, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll end it right here in this foreboding, foreboding looking room. As usual, thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you next time.